All right, hey guys, what is up? So today, in this little video, you're gonna see me doing a little bit of everything, some deadlifts, some bench pressing, and some squats, and you're gonna pretty much see that my strength is almost back to 100%, not exactly, but almost. So since I had the flu, you know, I think that was about like two or three weeks. It's been like two or three weeks, probably two weeks. Um, before this video since my flu ended and I've just been working back to get the strength working to get the strength back wow and uh, you know like I said the deadlift strength came back pretty fast I was already able to hit um, you know new PR records and things like that on this day back on the program I was going for I was supposed to go for two sets of three to six reps of 132.5 kilos which is 292.1 pounds and I was a little nervous because you know I, I didn't I really didn't think I was gonna be able to hit six reps of this weight just because I've never done it before like I when I did like 300 pounds just for fun before I only got like two reps so now I, today I hit two sets of six reps with a with, on 292.1 pounds so it, it was it wasn't bad too bad at all and I think definitely the uh, change in my kind of technique helps like like I said last time I got my feet closer in together and that just helps me get a lot tighter helps me use a lot more of my leg power right out of the bottom and it just feels yeah it just feels a lot better for me like you're gonna see these these reps they go up pretty smoothly and the form is pretty good too there's no like uh you know there's no banana pulling no pulling the bar out front or anything it's pretty solid and that's the end of the deadlifts moving on to the next day march 10th 2016. <laughs> all right so this day now we're doing some bench pressing and this is one of the things that I struggled a little bit more with. Um, if you guys watched the videos where I came back from the flu, you could see that I was uh, not able to do what I was before and I was pretty frustrated. So on this day, I went back to the program. I'm supposed to do three sets of four to six reps of 87.5 kilos, which is 192.9 pounds. And it was the, it's, this is the first time in my life doing this much weight for this many reps on the bench press but as you're gonna see starting from here here's the first working set I get all three sets all six reps without too much trouble um, it actually took me about two or th it took me about three or four weeks now that I'm looking at the Instagram post that I made it took me about three or four weeks but finally um, most of the strength that I lost from having the flu and doing nothing for a whole week has come back um one thing that i had to kind of get was the feel back for the bench just not benching for a whole week or not exercising not doing anything for a whole week uh like i said before i just kind of lost the feeling for some of the things that i'm not as comfortable with um bench press is decent but my strength is just not there deadlift is probably my best movement of the three so that one maybe that that's why it came back the quickest but the bench press was a little more difficult but as you can see here I'm getting all the reps uh, but one thing is oh yeah with the with the reps when it's a higher rep range like if I'm going for like you know six eight ten whatever then I'm not gonna pause for each of the reps because that just kind of makes it multiplicative wait multiple Multiplicatively, multiplicatively harder. <laughs> you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah, it just gets that much harder if you pause on every single rep. So, what I do sometimes is, you know, I'll just kind of like I'll make sure to touch my chest, of course, and control it. But then I'll try to do a slight pause on the last rep, if anything, um, on the uh, higher rep range. All right, guys, and now let me give you a little random life update. You know, it isn't one of my hobbies. One of the things that I like to do is playing some tennis. And one, this is super random and not many of you are going to care, but I'm going to talk about it anyways because this is my videos of my life, man. So when tennis, like one of the biggest things since I haven't played a match in a very long time or done anything like that, I haven't needed to serve, you know. It's just been rallying, getting used to the surface and things. But finally on this day, I was feeling a little com I was feeling more comfortable with my serve. You're gonna see these clips. Boom! 
Oh my goodness, 200 miles. No, just kidding. <laughs> I wonder how fast my serve is. I actually have no idea, but I'm, I'm pretty freaking curious. But yeah, things are getting a lot better now. Ten is still enjoying it. It's pretty freaking fun. But the serve is one of the things I should uh, work on a little bit more because I just, you know, during practice, we're not really um, practicing match play or anything like that. Except for Fridays when we play doubles. But yeah, something I gotta work on. But this day it felt pretty freaking good. All right, now back to the workout footage. Back to what everybody wants to see on March 14th, 2016. All right, so here it is. This, all right, squats, the most difficult of the three movements for me, as I've said so many times before. But um, in the recent videos, you know, I've talked about how I just, it just doesn't feel comfortable. It's like way too hard. And you've seen my form get a little sketchy at times. Like last, last video, I almost fell forward like and slammed my face into the ground, thus ending my life <laughs> in with the squat. So on this day, instead of moving forward with the program, I gave myself a little underhand pitch, if you know what I'm saying, with a lighter weight. Today I only did 95 kilos, which is 209.4 pounds. I did four sets of eight, and all I tried to do was focus on finding that comfortable form, comfortable technique for myself because it hasn't been there. And, you know, like, I could continue on with the this, you know, kind of sketchy technique and keep trying to increase weight if I wanted to. But the thing is, doing that is probably not the best for uh, strength improvement or safety because... If you saw my last video with the squats and me talking about how squats are the hardest, if I continued on with that form, I'd probably end up hurting myself with the bar tilting so much and just not being able to keep the bar path straight, etc., etc. If you watch these clips, I, like I said, I was focusing a lot more on form. The form on this day was so much better and it felt so much better um, than on the other, these past recent squat sessions. And as you can see, like, I mean, yeah, the weight is lighter, but before, even with this weight, 95 kilos, I was not able to keep that bar straight on my back. Like, it would be tilting so badly by, like, the fifth or sixth rep. But in these clips, I'm able to keep the bar pretty straight on my back. It's not sliding or anything. And the form is, you know, a lot more solid. I, I finally started to feel good. You're going to see this clip with the dual view. Let's look at that. Let's look at that bar path and see how straight it is cuz one of the problems was before coming out of the bottom, I would kind of do a little banana bar path where it curves forward and then comes back, but look at this. That is pretty straight. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so a lot better on this day. And I think breathing technique definitely helps. Like I was very focused on taking a huge breath of air in, tightening that core and holding the breath in until I come up. And yeah, I mean, it's just part of it is just doing it more and getting used to it. Cause every time I was training with this technique, that's not, you know, not exactly comfortable for me. And I just kept doing that. Right. So finally today I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to, you know, just back off on the weight and just try to find that form. And I have to say that I, I think I did it because nowadays my squats are feeling a lot better and I'm a lot more comfortable with it. Um, just got to improve my strength now, but the technique feels a lot better. And then just finishing it off with some sumo deadlifts. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm not on the little platform like normal, some students were on the platform that, or they wanted to like, well, they're standing in front of the mirror just posing themselves <laughs> like a bunch of little kids. And I decided to let them have their fun, you know, just took the bar off uh, away and just did my own thing let the kids have some fun and look at the hamstrings my hamstrings are like that those big slabs of meat on the bottom it's important to work out both your quads and your hamstring if you're too imbalanced um on you know hamstring quad dominance then that might affect your ability to squat well and just look amazing so yeah Anyways, that's the end of this video, guys. I can't believe I just did that in one take. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Peace out.